Welcome back to Sportsbook Review. Right now I'm joined with college football analyst Joe Gavassi who went 11-1 and with his picks uh, last week and is now back with us to talk about his betting edge here on the sandwich game. Uh, welcome back, Joe. So first off, how are you feeling after last week's wins? Feeling good, feeling strong, ready to go for another week, have great momentum build up in the early part of the season. That's part of the fact that we did a lot of homework in August as we relayed to you on this very site. And of course, we do have those 36 years of experience under our belt. So Joe, before we talk about any specific matchups here, can you briefly break down what a sandwich game is for our betting viewers who may not know? Certainly can. We talk about the handicapper's conundrum in each and every game, and that's part of situational handicapping. We look for teams that are in soft spots on the schedule when they come down off a game that was very important to them and are looking ahead to a game in the week or weeks ahead that's equally important to them. When they're playing a lesser opponent, they often do not show as much intensity. Now, we've already seen that a couple times this year in the first two weeks of the season. Two weeks ago, Alabama was caught in a sandwich spot. A big opener versus Wisconsin, looking ahead to Mississippi revenge last week. And in the middle, sandwich, middle Tennessee State. Wow. How could they get up for that game? And they didn't. They won the game, but didn't beat the 35-point impost. Last week, as part of a crusher here on this site, East Carolina had a revenge game versus Florida two weeks ago, left it all on the table, nearly won the whole game, and are looking forward to Virginia Tech next week, a regional rival with a much bigger name than Navy. Sandwiched in the middle, a trip to Annapolis, and they're awaiting Navy with a huge fundamental advantage. Of course, Navy crushed them, and we all came away a big winner. This week, we have another sandwich game on Friday night, and we'll get to that in just a minute. Do you know who that might be, Megan? All right, let's talk about that. What's coming up this week that you've got on your radar here, Joe, uh, as your sandwich game of the week? Well, as you all know by this time, Stanford had a terrible start to the season. They lost at Northwestern as a double-digit favorite. But they ramped it up in the last two weeks, especially at USC last week, where they won outright by 10 as a 10-point underdog. Now they travel to Oregon State, a team that is little thought of by the public and is rebuilding under head coach Anderson. But Stanford has much bigger games dead ahead at home versus Houston and Arizona. This is a true sandwich spot for Stanford, who may additionally be without their quarterback, Hogan, who was injured last week. Check the injury wires for that one for sure. Meanwhile, Oregon State under Anderson beginning to put together a running game. Witness the 300 yards he had last week. Great spot for the Beavers on Friday night lights to come in under that big home dog number. Oregon State against a sandwiched Stanford team. Yeah, I agree with you here, Joe, uh, especially with the Hogan or ordeal. Excuse me. Uh, if he, even if he plays, it may not be very much. I'm sure they're not going to be willing to risk any more injuries with him. Uh, so college football analyst Joe Gavassi, thanks again for joining us and for the insight.